Greetings, everyone. This is your lively but yet inquisitive YouTube expert, Daryl Eves. Now, I'm really excited about today's live event because it's going to be a new every week where I'm able to interface with you, you're able to ask your questions, and I'm able to respond to them live. Now, to make this all work, it's a little bit different. Um, you know, I, I get a lot of comments from a lot of you, and a lot of them are really valid questions, and I wish I had the time, and I wish I had the bandwidth to literally answer every comment. I was thinking, you know, this might be the, the next greatest thing where you're able to just like ask Daryl and, you know, I'm able to sort using tools and find those questions. And then, you know, every week I can come on and answer, you know, the questions that you have. You have about YouTube, you have about video marketing, whatever it may be, I'm going to go ahead and answer that. So this is the segment, but honestly, guys, I want it to be interactive. So to do that, there's a chat box that you can actually put questions in. I'm going to have you uh, respond to questions. Maybe you have a better idea than I do, which we all want to hear about it. So we'll have you put it in. And also, this is really important. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, you definitely want to do that right now because we actually have an interactive Twitter session that's coming up where you're able to even put your comments in and you know what? We're going to live stream those comments as well so we can interact even, even further. Super excited, guys. So if you really have a question for me, put it in the, the question box right now. I'm going to go through and answer as many questions as I possibly can. See what's going to happen. You know, this is the first one. So if you're really interested in learning more about YouTube, video marketing, you know, social media, whatever, whatever your questions are, you need to stay tuned. All right, guys. So I'm super excited to have you on. Uh, make sure you put in the comments where you're from and let's get this thing rolling. <laughs> you know, the thing with live events, uh, everything happens that uh, it just it goes wrong. Uh, today, I'm a lone man doing this and I had everything all saved. And guess what, guys? It like crashed like four minutes before to start. I had all the questions all lined up. He's going to bring it in and so beautiful. But you know what? That's what happens when it's live. And that's okay. So first off, um, I want to welcome you to this new segment. I hope you guys like this new segment. I'm going to figure out what day it works best for me. And if you wouldn't mind just putting in the chat what day you would actually like to see this as well. And we're going to get rolling here in one quick second. So uh, just going through here. I'm super excited. Uh, to see you guys on here. Um, and there's just a little bit of a lag. I do apologize for that, but that's with the, the live feed and so forth. Um, so anyway, uh, if you haven't followed me yet on, on Twitter, I recommend you to do that. It's just at Daryl Eves. I'm also on Instagram, at Daryl Eves. Make sure you sell, spell Daryl right, D E R R A. And uh, we'll get things rolling here in a quick second. Now, I actually had all the questions, like I said, all queued up, ready to show you, but guess what? It crapped out, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, um, and I got to do it. I was going to actually pull it on and, and uh, go from there, but mm, well, where I'm just the only person doing this, this is what I get, I guess. Okay, so the first question actually comes from Twitter, and it's Rossi. Uh, he's asking, should on my videos on different networks uh, any suggestions do you know platforms except for Facebook and Twitter well Gustav honestly multiple things to do. Um, and one thing that I would look at are you actually connect your YouTube channel with AdWords AdWords is the, um, the to, to buy ads, not only on YouTube, but across all the Google ad display network. That includes ads on CNN, Fox News, The Blaze, all the different places that are out there. You can actually put your ads out there and it can be really, really cost effective. And so I would say, you know what, Gustav? Uh, definitely uh, hook that up. Um, I'm going to have some training on that and uh, it's coming really, really soon and you're going to really is I go through everything. I go through everything of how to integrate it. Uh, I also show you how to hook up what they call perfect audience. 
Uh, you can go to perfectaudience.com, uh, set up your account, go through some stuff. And that has a, a display network as well that you can go out and put your ads there as well. All right, Gustav. Uh, and I do apologize, guys. I wish I had these questions come up. Then I won't have to be looking down to read it. <laughs> okay, so the next one comes from Twitter again. Uh, e. Loggy. It says, Daryl, in the description, uh, first you said, ask Daryl. Now with the hashtag, leaves. I'm confused. What do I do? Okay, well, guys, simple. If you have a question for me, you can put that question on Twitter or you can put it on YouTube and use the hashtag Daryl. Uh, make sure you spell my name right, D-E-R-R-A-L, and, and you're set. You're golden. Okay, for those that don't know a hashtag, go ask someone that's like eight years old, nine years old. Uh, they're using it all the time on Instagram, and uh, it's a great way. But basically what it is, it's a call out that I'm able to sort and um, really find out who's asking the questions from there. Maybe I should do a training what a hashtag is. I think that'd be great. Okay, the third question actually comes from Twitter as well. And this is from Billy Baker. So thanks, Billy, for uh, first off following me on, on Twitter. Um, he's asking this question. Just wondered if you knew about any monetization rules that apply to music cover songs on YouTube. Well, Billy, honestly, um, are multiple things that you can do. I actually have a training on um, one of the videos. I'll put it in the description after this live. I was actually going to pull it up, but you know how that went. Uh, but anyway, the there, there's a lot of going on here. Uh, with times the creator will let uh, when I, the creator of the music will let you advertise on it and you split it. That's the best case scenario happen that frequently we'll just take all the ad revenue that you do if you're doing a cover song so you know i i definitely would uh uh <laughs> be careful with that oh okay i'm not going to make money on adsense that you need to do a couple other things um and the couple other things uh would deal with travis craft's uh question let me see where his is at you know about monetization so it's a question in youtube um, so he says, Daryl, please talk about merchandise, especially ship, uh, physical products, uh, like yourself. Okay. Well, um, there's, uh, Travis and anyone else that want to know about merchandise. There's a lot of opportunities out there. One we just actually did for a client, um, and they were on a case study and this case study integrated with a service called Teespring and it's spelled T double e spring.com now the great thing about this service is you have no at all all you got to do is get people to the page and they actually buy we actually sold we literally sold uh 3200 plus shirts in 15 days so almost seventy thousand dollars worth of of merchandise we didn't have to all we had to do is design the set up the account we had to design the shirt and we had to do a little bit of promotion, which we actually did a YouTube video that was getting people steered over to, uh, to do that. And we did a couple of Facebook posts, but $70,000 in 15 days. I mean, that's just amazing guys. There's a lot of opportunities out there like that as well, Travis. And I know that you're in the Philippines and, um, you have a lot going on there. There's a lot of different services. I do have some training that's coming out, uh, you know, in a couple weeks or so, about in the middle of May, that's going to literally uh, give you a lot more detail of a lot of options. But basically, I'd look for, uh, you know, facility, uh, 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 merchandise companies that don't, you don't have to put any overhead, you don't have to ship anything, you don't have to do anything like that, that they take care of it and take a cut. Okay, so um, great. We just had a uh, Twitter mention, just real quick from. Uh, this is like nine seconds ago. <laughs> uh, do you have any YouTube events? Um, if so, attending in the summer or in the city? Well, Jack, uh, if you go to my website and you uh, put your name and email address in there, um, I actually have a announcement uh, this next Wednesday that's explaining just what you're talking about. 
Uh, and it's just amazing stuff. And so I, I'm not here to announce it publicly yet, but maybe on the next Ask Daryl call, I'll just open it up to everyone so you can see what's going on there. Uh, it's some amazing stuff. So thanks for that uh, shout out there on Twitter, Jack, just a few seconds ago. Okay, um, so Travis, um, hopefully that answers your stuff on merchandise. Uh, you know, just look at Teespring. It's a great alternative. Um, if you have a core following, even if you only sell like 300 shirts, that's still a lot of money. Um, and, and it's just, you know, kind of going from there. Okay. Okay, the next, one, the next question actually comes from IC Craft Miner. He asked this question on YouTube. And boy, do I wish I could have had those slides coming up so you don't have to. <laughs> well, anyway, a deep breath, Daryl. Be easy. All right. Um, how do I turn the three-second intros back on the recently changed uh, YouTube? So YouTube changes all the time. And, you know, they put things in beta. And they test it out. And they even make things live. Um, I see uh, Minecraft guy. <laughs> there, It's dead. It's no longer in existence. Uh, they take, they've taken that completely away. Uh, first off, they've seen uh, a lot more analytical data and realizes that yeah, it's not that effective. So I, I'm, I'm sorry, but this happens all the time on YouTube. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to look real quick uh, for, for anyone that's actually on the live call. There's quite a few on the live call right now. Um, Definitely put in there a, a question. Make sure you put the hashtag. I don't, um, you know, put, put a hashtag in there and I'll, I'll be able to pull it out as well. Um, so Minecraft Goldfish asks a great question. And this is one, you know, questions like this, I'm going to actually do tutorial videos. Um, but how do you actually do a live event? And I actually have a series of tutorial videos showing you exactly how to do a live event. Um, and it's something that you can do, Minecraft Goldfish, uh, to, you know, to interact as you're doing your gameplay. So it's really, really uh, powerful. Okay, moving on to the next question. It's question number five. Um, and it, this comes from uh, Carib Spice. It says, hi, Daryl, a faithful viewer here. I asked this before here and via personal email. And I do apologize, like I, like I said, I get slammed on personal emails, I get slammed on comments. That's why I'm doing this segment, so I can answer these questions like this. Daryl, do you still do channel evaluations? I'm very interested in the channel evaluation. Um, and I just, I'm excited to ask this question about training. Well, uh, Karib, I am. I'm doing channel evaluations. I've been a little busy with work and a lot of things that are going on. Um, but I actually have a channel evaluation scheduled for two weeks. So in two weeks, I've been having a channel evaluation. It's going to be gamer, and so it won't necessarily be you. But what, let me just tell you what I'm looking for in a channel evaluation is that you're just giving it your all. Um, you're, you're updating content. You're following my tips. I'm looking there. Um, I've actually subscribed to a few of you, um, and I left a comment said, hey, I, I subscribed to you. That means I'm watching. And I'm seeing how often you interact with your uh, subscribers. And if you see that I've been there and we kind of interact a little bit from there, that's a way that I actually reach out. So yes, I'm doing channel evaluations. I'm going to try to start doing them twice a month. Uh, and uh, this game is coming up in two weeks. Okay, um, moving on to the next question. So that was a great one. This comes from GVCOM. Daryl, how do I make ultra 4K videos? <laughs> well, first off, uh, GVCOM, the first thing that you actually need to do, you actually have to have a 4K camera. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is when you're doing your editing, you need to make sure that you're editing in that format and then you output it. Now, I would definitely encourage everyone that if you have a 4K camera, to do it. Um, I truly believe here in the next little bit, that that will be a, a variable in, in your rank analytics to say, oh, you know, these people have 4K uh, monitors and 4K TVs. Let's show the 4K stuff first. And so right now I'm not shooting in, getting ready to, to get that set up. Plus, sometimes I don't know if you want to see me all in 4K, do you? If you do, put it in the chat. Say, hey, I want to see more of you in 4K or no, let's not, let's not. 
Okay. Now, if any of you two that um, have an answer that's different than mine, make sure you Make sure you put it in there. Love to read that after or even now that it's going on. All righty, moving to question number seven. Bunny Gamer one two three. Bunny Gamer, uh, when did you start YouTube? Why did you start YouTube? That's my question. Ask Daryl. <laughs> All right, Bunny Gamer, this is a great question. Um, so back in 2005, I was actually, I, I start, well, let me, let me go a few years back. So in, uh, I graduated uh, from college in 1999, uh, went to work for a, a big hospital and then I stopped and started my own bit for somebody. Um, and you know, I, I, I was doing a lot of marketing, graphic design, and, um, I was always looking for traffic resources that would generate traffic to. And in 2005, I was list, and this was like in November of 2005. And I saw this ad. It says, "Hey, sharing platform, come check it out. If you invite so many friends, an iPod." Okay, it's not like one of the teeny iPods. It was like, and um, I, I'm actually owner of that brick iPod that YouTube actually gave me for inviting it for the friends. So I've been on since the beginning. Now, did I start my channel back then? No, I didn't do that. I was good enough to do that using those video strategies for and it turned into working with some really big top YouTube channels and businesses and bread. You know what? I'm sick of really answering questions for my clients. I'm going to put it in a tutorial and I decided, well, Hey, I'm going to just practice what I preach and start my own channel. And here I am, uh, you know, two years later, you know, and it's great because all of you guys have been responsive, um, been fantastic. And I really appreciate it. And I honestly, I couldn't get success without you guys. And uh, for all of you, I, I'm interested too. How long have you been on YouTube? You know, tell me, put it in the, put it in the chat, how long you've been on YouTube and, and some of your struggles, some of your dreams, love to hear about that stuff. That, that honestly, that gives me motivation to continue. Okay. Moving on to question number eight, and this comes from how's grow organic produce inexpensively. <laughs> so that's great. Um, my question is, have you tried cards? Have you ever got better results? Um, I was actually one of the lucky ones that have been uh, baiting cards, uh, since about, uh, the fall of last year. And I'm here to tell you guys that cards really work if you utilize them right. So we actually used a card strategy as, um, promoting this t-shirt and of the 3000, you know, almost half of them actually came from that video and and of those half about 70 percent actually clicked on the info card and went directly to the merchant let me tell you what's going on here so you you actually know this uh in the future that youtube's goal is to get it so that people don't have to leave the browser so they're going to be literally buying different products right from the uh the the video player in youtube and it will go through google wallet and you'll be able to sell anything and they'll be able to fulfill it. That's the power that's coming. So um, the info cards, like the first step and really getting it so that it works on mobile. So that's a great question. All right. Um, also, I, I'm wondering uh, for you guys that are on live or watching a replay, tell me what you think. I mean, um, do you think YouTube should actually allow this uh, to actually have people buy, have a buy button? Are you interested in that? Um, if they were able to just buy right from the video player, is that cool? Would you like that? If, if so, put it in the comments. I'd love to see that for sure. Let's put it in the chat. All right, moving to question number 10. Okay, this comes from uh, Vanessa Boric. It says, I'd like to know how to get that drop down list of all the channels that you're subscribed to. So, this one's a really easy one. So, if you go up by the logo of YouTube, you're going to see some bars. I think they're like four bars. Just click on that and it will open up everything that you're able to see. So, when they switched over to the one design, um, that's basically where everything's at. So you can just go ahead and click on that. Great.
Okay, so we have some people saying that they submitted some stuff on Twitter. And I do apologize. I'm trying to get as many, um, if you've done anything uh, on Twitter right now, I'm trying to, to inter, uh, integrate with that. Um, Alexander Solis on Twitter just asked me a question. Daryl Eves, are you a gamer? Um, Alexander, let me tell you, man. Um, the first video game I ever played, ever, ever, was Asteroids, okay? Um, or was it Pong? It might have been Pong. But uh, I just remember Asteroids, and um, I, I was just enthralled by it. I spent so much money putting quarters back in the 80s. Uh, and my favorite games are, you know, back in the 80s, Pac-Man, Galaga, all, all, the, all the great stuff. Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, all that fun stuff. Um, I, I literally um, ate on, a, on a, a Super Nintendo, and it transformed into different things. But um, do I game quite a bit right now? I don't. Um, I do it every once in a while. Uh, my kids laugh at me quite a bit because... Uh, you know, they're, they're gaming all the time and, and, you know, I'll, I'll come down and I'll say, okay, what game are you playing? And, you know, call of duty, whatever. And I'll sit down and within just 20 or 30 minutes, I'm kicking their trash. <laughs> However, I have to put this disclaimer out. I have a little brother, Michael. He just, yeah, there's no stopping that guy. He literally it, like super Mario brothers. If you're familiar with that, when he was like five, I mean, he was like, kicking my trash when he was five and it's just like total total awesome oh and another thing um he like beat the whole game in like 10 minutes it's like crazy crazy stuff okay moving to the next one wildcat says daryl how do i get an icon in the lower left hand uh, right left side of your all your videos um so with that uh wildcat there's a lot of things that you can do and this this uh, comment came on twitter um, a lot of that's in post where i'm doing this live right now um, I actually bring a little like little image in. Let's see, this right here. A little image in, and I'm able to put it on here, and I can change it. I can like literally change um, so it doesn't show it anymore. So here it goes. It doesn't show. Um, let's go ahead, and I'm going to just – these are some really cool things on live stuff, live training I want to teach you all about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do these from now on. So we'll go ahead and do this. So I can just like push that live right there. See how that goes? Um, there's a lot of cool little things you can do. Um, but, but honestly, uh, I think that's, a uh, training for another day. Uh, and I'll, I'll get in detail on that for sure. Okay. Okay. You've got a couple new tweets in. Um, so Rebecca happy from Canada asked me this great question just about 30, uh, 53 seconds ago. So why live over hangouts? Uh, why YouTube live over hangouts? Okay. Um, I honestly hate hangouts. Um, I love hangouts to interact with family, with clients, to do all the training, stuff like that. But the quality, the quality is horrible on, on, uh, hangouts. It's 720. Um, I want everything as high as you can get. So this is 1080. You'll be able to watch it in 1080. Um, and I really hate that little icon that put up here that says, uh, you know, hang out. I, I don't like that. I want, the, I don't want their branding on my stuff. I want it to be where I place it. I want my own branding as I wear YouTube's logo, <laughs> but it's my own choice guys. All right. All right. Okay. So, um, keep on asking those questions. Um, if you ask me on Twitter, I, I respond to them a little bit quicker. I'm going to move to some people that asked me questions a little bit uh, earlier. And one of these days that you're going to be able to see these questions. Uh, this comes from a podcast. It says, uh, Daryl, I saw one time in a video that someone showed me their site when they could find a collaboration really easy. Um, I can't remember that site anymore. Um, I did some training on FameBit, and FameBit is actually a service that, you know, kind of puts the brands with YouTube channels, but they also have a great, great service where they're able to find that collaboration. I would assume that that's the one that you actually was looking at, because you can say, oh, I'm looking for a collaboration, and it's a free. The only thing, the only thing about that, Sander, is that you actually have to have a thousand subscribers. So, all right, let's go back to Twitter. Let's see if we have anybody else on here. New tweets. All righty. 
So uh, Michael Serial just uh, tweeted me 35 seconds ago. Um, <laughs> says, uh, love you, buddy. Is there any reputable companies like FameBit uh, that accept channels under... So basically, uh, FameBit uh, does 1,000 subscribers. He's wondering if there's any reputable companies out there that does anything under 1,000 subscribers. And, uh, you know, Michael Serial, I wish there was, but that doesn't stop you from going and finding um, people, brands, businesses that would, would advertise on, on your channel. I, you know, I, I definitely would recommend that you do it yourself as well, okay? All right, uh, moving on to the next question. This one comes from Twitter, uh, and this is from Dr. Vogelman. How you doing, doctor? Doctor? Doctor. <laughs> says, what do you see the f uh, future of Twitch now that Google Empire has captured it? Um, so Twitch wasn't actually purchased by Google, my friend. It was actually purchased by Amazon. Google tried to acquire it, and the uh, creators and founders of Twitch did not want to sell to Google. And they actually took less money and, and put it with Amazon. Here's the thing, and I'm here to tell you right now, the, the main three that's going to really uh, target uh, YouTube in the future, uh, pulling creators away and pulling views, I can tell you right now, number one will be Facebook. Okay, that's another video for another time. Number two is going to be Amazon. And Amazon, i.e. Twitch, uh, is going to be a huge thing. And I, I, I have the sneaking suspicion that Amazon is going to use their platform Keep it how it is, but use it, clone it, and do their own stuff because um, they're content providers as well and make it really easy for creators to sell things on Amazon. Okay, think about that for a second. And creators to promote things on Amazon, which a lot of that stuff you can't do on YouTube, but Amazon will let you do it. So pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, so let's uh, move on to some more questions here. If you have a question... Um, you know, definitely uh, tweet it out there. Also, don't forget to put it in the comments on YouTube. So I'm, I'm like literally going back and forth from the live comments and on, on, on Twitter. Um, this one comes from uh, YouTube and it is Absolute Alpha. All right. It says, my videos aren't getting high in the search. Not even with uh, my less subscribed channels are getting higher. I notice that the, I'm using the same tags. My vidIQ score is bigger. Can you tell me what I'm doing wrong? Well, you got you to gotta realize um, uh, absolute alpha, basically what YouTube's actually doing. They are only looking at your metadata for a short period of time. Okay, about six days. And they're gathering the information. The information that they use to rank are, are these. Okay, number one would be your audience watch time. So you have your audience retention, your audience watch time. They're also looking at your session time. So when someone goes and watches the video, uh, they, they go back and um, check for, uh, another video on YouTube and another video on YouTube. And if they say for 10 hours, then their watch time, uh, session time's huge. Um, they're also looking for social uh, shares, so like people sharing it on Twitter, you know, sharing it on Reddit, sharing it on Facebook. They're looking at, at that as well. And those are the factors that they're looking at to rank you. So those other channels, I, I definitely would look at the videos that they're doing and see how many times that they're actually shared. And even though you have a higher uh, you know, rank IQ, uh, well, they might have a higher audience watch time or they have a higher audience watch time and session time. So that's something there. So absolute alpha, that's the question that from there. Let's move on to question number 13. This comes from YouTube. This is from my Doug, uh, my friend, Doug Cameron. It says, Daryl, is there a custom URL on YouTube without having to wait uh, until I get 500 subscribers? Well, believe it or not, there isn't. Um, and if there is a way, uh, it's not, it's Black Hat. Um, but honestly, what I would do is not worry about it. Uh, because it really doesn't make that big of a deal. Um, you can do a, a little thing in Google Plus that you can claim uh, a name, and then that's going to associate back with YouTube. Uh, but really, to get that custom URL, you have to have 500 subscribers. And the reason why, 
there are squatters out there that will create a YouTube channel, take a great name, and have one subscriber when someone that's really legitimate has that same name, but they can't even take it now because of that. So you have to at least get 500 subscribers. So, okay, moving on to answering questions um, from Twitter. So if you uh, make sure you follow me at, you know, Daryl Eves at Twitter or even Instagram, uh, I'm, I, I'm going to definitely interact a lot more with this. Um, this one's coming from Twitter, not from YouTube. Um, okay, this is a great, great question right here. Sorry, I have to kind of read through it, make sure that uh, this is coming from Bill Al. It says, can you explain the new analytics? Seems like they cut revenue in half. Okay, so Bill, there's some great things that are happening with YouTube. And um, revenue kind of comes and goes and goes ups and downs and all that other. Um, and what you want to look at is the CPMs. However, if you're looking at the dashboard for what they project you're having, it's never going to match up to what you actually get paid in AdSense. The reason why is it's projected. Um, there's a report that you can do in analytics that would, would show you exactly what you're, what you're getting. Um, but it's going to fluctuate quite a bit because it fluctuates off of the type of ads that are actually being shown on your channel and then also the type of people that are watching the ads. So you're going to see some fluctuation. However, um, if you just saw a recent downturn, then there's something going on uh, maybe with your channel you might want to look at. Um, all the clients and myself, I, I, we're starting to skyrocket now. We're actually getting a lot more money. So there might be something, uh, some setting of some sort with yours that it's not working out. Uh, appreciate that uh, question there on Twitter there, Bill. Let's move to question uh, 15. This is on YouTube. Uh, this question comes from uh, James Riviera. It says, Daryl, are you losing weight? <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. No, I'm not losing weight. <clears throat> I'm just, you know, yeah. Am I losing weight? <laughs> All right, we're moving on. Another question from YouTube. Uh, this comes from My Hot Rod TV. Uh, Daryl, there's a YouTube double standard. I uploaded a video of a wet t-shirt contest. Okay. <laughs> At uh, Bike Fest. Next thing I knew it, it was flagged and rejected as inappropriate. I appealed it, and then YouTube came back and stated they stood with their decision. Then I started looking at other bike rallies, found that there's several with nudity. I flagged one of them that had frontal nudity of women. Don't put the link in there, my friend. Uh, let's make this family friendly here. Uh, several days later, I checked the video and it says age restricted. Why did YouTube have a double standard? Well, one of the things that you need to do and you need to look at is a checkbox that you can actually click that says that your, your content's not suitable for anyone under 18. Click that, you won't have a problem. Um, you can't put on pornography, okay? You, you can't do that. Um, but, you know, you can click that and, you know, they give you a little bit more leeway. If someone flags it, it just, it just kind of goes through that system. So, yeah, that, let's go to another question. Okay, talk about magic. This actually is from you on YouTube. Okay, says, um, do, 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 do. Is there a way to make all my shares not show up under my YouTube video? Uh, he's talking about Google Plus when he shares at Google Plus in a community. Uh, it, he doesn't want it to see under his YouTube video. Well, talk about magic. Let me tell you what's going on. You're the only one that can see that, okay? Honestly, you're the only one that's able to see it, even in your Google Plus feed and on YouTube. Anyone that's a part of that communi community, okay, if it's public, um, then they, they, everyone sees it. But if it's a semi-private or a private community, you're the only one that's actually able to see that. But there is no way to actually, when you, when you make the interaction on there on Google+, uh, to have it not, not show up on, on YouTube. There is a way on YouTube if you put not to share on Google+, share on Google+, so it'll just stay on YouTube. Um, and uh, I, I, it's been a while, but you, uh, Google+, Plus has changed all the time. So... If anyone out there knows uh, that it can happen, put it in the, the chat. Let's kind of help him out because honestly, I'm not too sure on that one. All right, this next question comes from Twitter and we're getting ready to uh, dial it down a little bit. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
This comes from uh, Twitter from Emerald D Queen. It says, Daryl Leaves, I'd like to join a network, but confuse, can't uh, decide on one. Okay, so this is a question that a lot of creators have. What network's gonna be best for me? And what my advice to you would be is just to wait. Okay, wait till VidCon, after VidCon. Um, there's some stuff coming up, and I, would, I, I really would hate to see it. It'd be a shame that you're actually locked into an agreement for two years. Um, I, I definitely would wait. Um, but for those that don't want to wait, what you want to do is to see what type of channel you're creating and if there's similar types of channels that are on there because the collaboration portion of uh, MCNs or networks is probably the best thing for you. You're not necessarily going to make more money. Um, you might a little bit, but they only you only make a lot more money um, when you negotiate. And if you're a smaller channel, they don't negotiate with you. I can tell you that right now. So Emerald D Queen, thank you for following me on Twitter. And that's a great question. Okay, moving on to the next question on Facebook. Oh, this one's on YouTube. Sorry about that. Um, what to cook asks me. Uh, the video, when I, when I actually search for a video in a keyword, I see the word official under the snippet of the video. What does this mean? Well, YouTube looks at a lot of data and they see what people are actually clicking on and they actually select official videos for those key terms. They give it a little bit more love. Um, and you know, I, I, I have a lot of different videos that have the official button and sometimes they come and sometimes they go. No one really knows how it works. Um, you know, the, the thing about it is just make a really good video on that topic, get a lot of views, get a lot of user engagement and you'll get that official button. That's what I found. Um, you know, but to, to create a formula to make that happen. Yeah, I haven't seen it. So, okay guys, um, I'm going to go to the live chat here and see if there's any comments coming in. Um, so if you have a comment here, make sure you, uh, Put it in the live chat. Okay. Fish just asked me a question. What's the best type of screen recorder for a PC? Um, it depends on what you want to do. If you if you're just to record your screen, um, what I would do, uh, is definitely do. Uh, Asia is really good. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I, I actually use ScreenFlow. Uh, but, you know, Camtasia does cost money. Um, there's other, like Jing and a few other things out there for free. Uh, but they leave the little icon on there. But anyway, that's a great question. Okay, moving on to the next question here. This is question 20 on YouTube. And it's, hey, it's Stevie. How, did, how does okay? How does someone get an app if you're under 18? So basically, what you need to do, is the parents set up or a guardian set up an AdSense account, and with that AdSense account, um, they can literally tie that into your YouTube channel, and you can start getting money that way. That's if you're under 18. Once you can switch it over to your account or they can switch that AdSense account to you. So you either have to have someone that's 18 years old that's taking the money and has a bank account that they can actually deposit it. So great question. Okay, moving on to Twitter. And um, we're going to just do three more questions. So if you, if you definitely want your question, tweet it right now. Uh, make sure you follow me. Um, okay, SDHD, Sensational DHD, asked me this question on Twitter just four minutes ago. <laughs> how do you get the YouTube t-shirt that I'm wearing right here? Um, and how would you feel if you were more popular than PewDiePie? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Uh, the YouTube t-shirt, the first one that I got was actually a gift from YouTube when I actually passed their certification exam. And then for me, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, I could put it on my channel. I can start wearing it. You know, I can start branding it. And um, before you knew it, closet full uh, of T-shirts. Uh, Google has a store. You can buy them. 
I can't remember. Just type in Google, Google Store, and you can find a YouTube t-shirt there. Um, but they seem to go fairly quick. So you can check that out. Uh, last part of your question, it, you know, if I was more popular than PewDiePie, I don't know if I want that. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just, I like my privacy a little bit. And I know that uh, um, he doesn't have much privacy. So, yeah. All right. Uh, moving on to the last question here. Um, so if you have anything on Twitter, that's right. People are asking for a channel evaluation. I have some channel evaluation, channel evaluations coming up. Okay. Okay. I'm going, I, I, I'm not getting anything on Twitter right now. So I'm going to go jump over to, um, question uh, on YouTube. This is from Patrick Benstein. Benstein, sorry, it's, um, okay, when considering outsourcing PR, public relations for branding, where do I my budget when it gets bigger? Where do I go? Is it easy to find someone inexpensive or should I go with a professional one? Okay, so what I would do is don't go for a PR firm. I can tell you this right now. Uh, most PR firms have no clue of social integration. Um, what, what you can do though, is find people that will submit press releases for you. That is powerful. Uh, but a PR firm wouldn't be good. What I'd look for is someone that can actually market you that somebody that's, uh, has a good understanding of social media knows how to grow an audience. Um, if you're interested, I have uh, students of mine do, um, and you know, they have a small monthly fee that they can, they can charge you. So if you're interested, just go to darrellyves.com, fill out the form. Uh, and we can put you in touch with one of my students from there. That's a great question. Okay, final question. Um, this is uh, my friend, Laura Belgrave from Florida. I'm hearing a lot of buzz about web pages. If they're not mobile, Google will pay less attention to them. Is this true? And how will it uh, impact video? So Laura, um, search algorithms are really interesting. One of the things that search algorithms look for is audience retention, okay? And on websites, they do the same thing. They actually look to see if someone, how long they, they stay on a site and what they do after they stay on the site, if they go to a, an inner page or whatever. So if there's a lot of mobile traffic going to a website that's not mobile responsive and they just jump off and go to another website, that's going to hurt their search ranking 100% of the time. So is it true? Yes. Is it going to have issues with video? No, because videos can, is mobile responsive. You can watch the videos right from your mobile phone. Um, and if you're using YouTube, you can embed videos even on a mobile responsive website and inter interact from there. So great. Now guys, it has been uh, fantastic. Um, I know this is a little chaotic for this first one, but honestly, uh, it worked out pretty good. So if you like this specific, put it in the live chat. Tell me, hey, Daryl, I love the live segment. Keep going with it. Um, it's something that I would love to see you do more. Um, I'm going to do the, the next live segment next week, next Tuesday. And uh, we're going to make it a, a weekly thing. I don't know if I'm going to do it on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Uh, so if you prefer Wednesdays over Tuesdays, put it in the chat. I need to see that. I need to see when you want that to come out. And I also want to see what time you want that to come out as well. Um, that's a, that's a huge thing. And I do apologize guys that I couldn't get the, the slides up. Like I said, it crashed right before Wirecast. Don't make it crash anymore, man. Come on. <laughs> but I'm super excited about this new event. I'm going to, I'm going to literally start doing it about a half an hour, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, this one took a little bit longer because of everything just kind of crashed. So make sure you check me out on Instagram. Check me out on, on Twitter. Um, subscribe to me for sure if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you get a second, check out a channel evaluation. I have one right here with uh, EverRide. And I'm looking to do a gaming channel here in two weeks. And then after that, I'm looking for a beauty channel. So if you're a beauty channel, hey, I'm looking for you next. And um, also, there's a lot of other channels out there that um, need this channel evaluation. Uh, you know, just give me a call out. 
Uh, make sure you use a hashtag, maybe channel evaluation, something that I can pull it in quick. We'll have to figure out some hashtag uh, for that as well. So I can kind of see those, the people that would like that. So thank you so much for coming on. And guys, this has been fantastic. Once again, if you have any other questions, ping me on Twitter, ping me on, on YouTube. I'll respond a little bit more on Twitter just because it's easier to communicate back and forth. So thank you guys so much for coming on. And I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic weekend.